uh, New Year's traditional recipes, okay? So one of the things that I'm going to be making is uh, black eyed peas. The black eyed peas that I'm going to be making is going to be a different way. It's going to be a gumbo style black eyed peas. I'm going to be making some rice, collard greens, fried chicken, and cornbread. So that is what is on the menu today. I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers and welcome back to all my faithful loyal family members. I hope y'all enjoy my good cooking today. Let me go ahead on and tell y'all this is a live cooking vlog. I don't do cooking shows. I do cooking vlogs. So you can expect that it's going to be a little lengthy, but you're going to get some good cooking out of it. Okay. Also, I want to introduce you to my second channel. The name of my second channel is Boss Up Cleaning. B-O-S-S. -S. You space it out. Up U-P Cleaning. C-L-E-A-N-I-N-G. The link to that channel is in the description box. If you don't find a link, just type me in. You're going to see me come up, okay? I also um have a membership. My membership name over here on this channel is called Sugar Boo Crew. If you don't mind, I would love if you join the Sugar Boo Crew. The, price, the cost of the membership is $4.99 a month. And what I bring to the, um, to the members is nothing but fun, fun activity type stuff, okay? So... I want to thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you go over and subscribe to my second channel. And when you do, make sure that you uh, leave a comment to let me know that you have joined the family. I, I thank you for coming and let's get right into this video, y'all. All right. What's up, y'all? What's up, family? Hold on. Let me see who here. Hey, Kim Dozea, Miss Marsha Ling, Tanya GE. Mika, Michelle, Beatrice, what's up, y'all? Happy New Year's to everybody. God done let us wake up to see another beautiful day and another, another year, y'all. So I am thankful for that, and I am thankful that I'm able to come on here and cook this good old food with y'all today. All right, so, y'all, what we're going to be making today is, yes, we're going to be making some black eyed peas, collard greens, Fried chicken, rice, and cornbread. The collard greens is already cooked for Thanksgiving. I just took those out of the freezer, so I'm not going to be cooking no collard greens. Cause let me tell y'all something. Uh, my family said, uh, Tiana, we don't want this food for two and three days. We just want to eat it today, and that's it. Maybe maybe a little bit in, for a little later, but other than that, uh-uh. We don't want, so cook small portions, so y'all... For now on out, I'm gonna be cooking smaller pork trying. I'm gonna be trying to, y'all, okay? I'm gonna be practicing cooking smaller portions, even though it's a lot, but I'm gonna be cooking smaller portions. Now, the black eyed peas, before we had this discussion, y'all, thank you, Kendra Boo. Good morning, good uh, afternoon, and uh, and and uh, good grandma and Edda. How y'all doing, Regina? How you doing, sugar? So, yeah, y'all put a ding on the dome and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on the dome and ring the doorbell. Put a Ding on the dome and ring the doorbell. Put the ding on the dome and ring the doorbell. If you don't know what the doorbell is, the doorbell, the doorbell is a thumbs up, the like button. Please hit it one time for the one time. Hey, one time for the one time. Hey, one time for the father, 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 father. One time if you don't mind ringing the doorbell. Play girl one more time. Hold up. We gotta get it just right. If you don't mind ringing the doorbell for your girl one more time, one more time. If you don't mind ringing the doorbell for your girl one more time. Okay. That's all I ask you to do. Thank you, Bob. Hey, Cheryl. <laughs> That's all I ask you to do is ring the doorbell. That means hit the thumbs up, the like button. Well, I'll be at it. Let me go ahead and introduce myself to y'all just in case, you know, it might be somebody here that don't know who I am. Well, let me go on on and Sarah Nature real quick, like one time for the one time. It's your girl T Anna. I can only be me. Hey, 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 y'all. Hey, 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 y'all. Happy, happy Friday. Hope you're having a good day. How you doing today? 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 How you doing today
you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? One more time for the ones in the back that couldn't hear me. Holla if you hear me. Holla if you hear me. Holla if you hear me. Yo! Hey, y'all! It's your girl, it's your sugar, what? it's your honey bun. It's the only one, I can only be me. Hey, 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 y'all. Hey, 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 y'all. Happy, happy Friday. Hope you're having a good day. How you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing? Hey! How you doing? Hey, how you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing? Hey, how y'all doing? All right, y'all. So now you know who I am. Y'all, if you don't know, I have a second channel. The name of my second channel is Boss Up Cleaning. That is B-O-S-S-U-P Cleaning. Space it all out. That's why I put all my cleaning videos, my organiz organization videos, and all of that. So if you're one of the ones or you know anybody that like to watch cleaning videos, organize a hundred, you just need somebody to help motivate you, get your life together, honey, let me be the one to motivate you, okay? Turn me on, okay? Put me on your TV, baby, okay? Your phone, however, both of them if you want to, okay? Ain't nobody mad. <laughs> ain't nobody mad at you. Ain't nobody mad and ain't gonna tell you not to, okay? So go on, turn me on, and every time you come over here or over there, you must ring the doorbell. You got to, honey. It's only, it's only right. You go, you come into my house. I'm welcoming with y'all, and I ask that y'all come over. Y'all have a good time, and y'all communicate with the people in the chat. We welcome you. Let me know if you're new. I will introduce you to the. I will welcome you to the family and all of that good stuff, okay? So I thank y'all for coming. We finna get started on this cooking. But these black eyed peas, y'all. I'm not one of the ones that like black eyed peas. I don't. Mm-mm, baby. So I went and I found a good recipe from another YouTuber. Her name is Whirlpool. Whirlpool? Whirl? Whirlpool. I've been subscribed to her for a long time, y'all. But I can't say the name. It's Whirl... Whipper. Whipper. Whipper wheel. Whippoorwill Hollow. W-H-I-P-P-O-O-R W-I-L-L. -L. Put that together. Hollow. H-O-L-L-E-R. If y'all if y'all go over there to her channel, y'all and subscribe. Y'all let leave a comment over there and let her know where y'all coming from. And let her know that I tried her recipe. And we're gonna see what it turned out. But these right here is some black eyed peas gumbo. And she said she was one of the ones that does not like to eat black eyed peas herself. So I was like, hmm, she don't like our black she don't like black eyed peas. I don't like black eyed peas. So I know these should be good, honey. And they look good. So I'm pretty much doing my own version of it, but I followed her recipe. Recipe. So, I'm going to show y'all how I do mine, okay? My, it's going to be my version, but I, you know, I was inspired by her. So, I'm going to show y'all how I do mine. So, when I show y'all how I do mine, y'all just take what I did and y'all just uh, tweak it and make it your own, okay? So, what you going to need for these uh, black eyed peas is... You're going to need you. Get down here. All right, y'all. It's time. Listen, I don't ignore nobody. Welcome to, to the family if you is new. Hey, everybody that I did not see. Hey, all of y'all in the back that come ring the doorbell. Thank y'all for coming. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. But y'all make sure y'all ring that doorbell. All right. So, this is what you need. Okay. So you're going to need, okay, so basically what she said, you can use any kind of meat that you want to use. Even if you got some ham left over, if you got uh whatever you want to use in your black eyed peas, it's a gumbo. You make it your own, okay? And also, one thing that I do not have that I would have loved to put in there, but honey, it's pouring down outside and I wasn't finna go to the store, honey, so I wasn't going to worry about it because I had greens on the side anyway. But she put kale in there. She said you could put kale or collard greens so anyway once once again what you're gonna need is do some bacon you're gonna need you two how she did it was two cups of uh, black eyed peas but i just went ahead and cooked my whole bag of black eyed peas and the, whatever i have left i'm gonna freeze it and when you measure two cups of black eyed peas you ain't gonna use this cup y'all okay what you gonna use is 
the cups like this because th those is dry black eyed peas, okay? So use the cups like this if you're going to measure your two cups. All the spices that you're going to need is, and you're going to need only one teaspoon of each spice. That's how she pretty much measured it. But I doubled it up because I'm making more. All right, so what you're going to need you is, you're going to need you some kielbasa sausage. That's the kind of sausage that she used. I'm not using that type of sausage. I'm using my own type of sausage that I want to use. These right here some Georgia Boy sausage. I'm going to be using these right here. So I'm going to be putting sausage, bacon, uh, a teaspoon of thyme, a teaspoon of oregano, teaspoon of onion powder. You're going to need uh, three whole bay leaves, garlic powder, some Creole or Cajun seasoning. I'm using celery salt because I don't have any celery, but I'm not adding salt. So the celery, the salt that's in the celery salt going to take the place of the salt that I didn't add. And also, the this celery seasoning going to take the place of the um, fresh celery. <coughs> So what I gave y'all was a double up. I mean, that was, the teaspoon is what she used, but I doubled mine up. So I already have mine right here, already pre-measured. You're gonna need you some um some um garlic. You're gonna need bell pepper. You're gonna need onion. I ain't got no onion, so the onion powder is gonna take place, honey. Listen, don't worry about it. Just follow what I'm doing. Make it your own. As long as it tastes good in the end, right? That's all that matters. Okay. All right. So like I said, then she said you need two cups of the um of the the black eyed peas. All right. So over here, I got me some turkey tails, y'all. I'm gonna be also adding turkey tails to mine. So I have already pressure cooked my turkey tails. Look at y'all sugar boo child done prep some stuff. You look at how I done cut my bell peppers child. Y'all better look done measured out my grease and my, and my, and my flour. So you gonna need you one and a half cup. One and a half cups of flour. This is self rising flour. You gonna need you one cup of oil. When you measure your oil, use the cup like this, okay? You're gonna need one cup of oil and you're gonna need one one and a half cup of flour. And when you measure your flour, use the cups like this, okay? All right. So now over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started on this roux, okay? So I'm gonna take this one and a half cups of flour and I'm gonna dump it in that one cup of oil and we're gonna get to working up this roux, y'all. You got to you got to keep a steady stir on roux or you will burn it. You do not want to burn your roux, y'all. Okay. So I'm gonna get y'all over here real quick, like. Okay. So we're gonna get this here worked on in and mixed on in together. And we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this roux until it comes to a peanut butter color. This is a gumbo with the black eyed peas that I'm making. And I honey, I'm quite sure I'm gonna like this, y'all, because oh, and I forgot you're gonna need a teaspoon of sugar, y'all. A teaspoon of sugar in your seasoning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all this flour here mixed in and worked in together. Ain't nobody got time for this one. Ain't nobody got time for it. Okay. So basically, the measurements that she gave, it looked like it was just a little bit off. So I'm going to add some more oil to my roux. Probably need like a cup and a half of oil. Alright, yeah, so that's pretty good. That was a cup and a half of uh, oil and a cup and a half of flour, y'all. 
And we're just going to get this up. Just put it on up together. Make sure the temperature is down low enough to cause y'all. You don't want to burn that roux. Okay, so now I can go back with my spoon. This roux going to take up a, a take a good little minute to cook, but you want to make sure that you keep your eye on that roux because listen, roux will if it burn, you got to start over. Because it don't take nothing for a roux to burn and your and what's going to happen is it's going to taste like you eating a burnt gravy. That's what it's going to taste like, y'all. So we're going to get this here, cook it on up, making sure that we keep a nice constant stir on it. It's, I have my stove down to a medium. It just depends on your stove, what you need to put it on. But mine's is on the medium, and I'm just going to cook this here until it, it starts turning peanut butter color. The more you cook a roux, the darker it turns. So keep on stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. Do not stop stirring your, stirring your roux for a long period of time because if you do, you're going to mess up. So in our second pot, y'all, I know this right here is in the way. Let's see. Hold on. Let me give it out your way real quick. Okay. So in our second pot, y'all, what we're going to do is back here. Okay, so what we're going to do back here is we're going to start browning up our, our bell peppers, onions, and all of that if you have the onions, okay? So we're going to brown up the bell peppers and the onions, start getting those softened. And we're going to start getting those softened. Okay, so I'm going to just add just a little bit of oil to my pot back there and see I'm, I'm browning the bell peppers and the onions back here in this pot because this is the pot i'm gonna be cooking the black eyed peas in i already soaked my black eyed peas um for a little while the black eyed peas don't really take that long to cook y'all oh lordy let me this face let me this face y'all just bear with me okay so I'm going to let that come up and then we're going to take the bell peppers and, and onion. If you have onion that you're going to throw in there, you're going to throw all that together, y'all. Okay? And start letting that cook together. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to saute those and we're going to continue to work this hill room. Now, I'm only going to cook, like I told y'all, they said they want to do just a little bit. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some rice, but I'm not going to make that much rice. And I'm just going to make some regular old white rice. We're going to fry up some chicken. I'm going to show y'all how I fry my chicken. If you uh, need a very detailed instructional video to itself on how I fry my chicken. After you see how I make this chicken, y'all, I have already created a video um, about a month ago where I fried my chicken, y'all. Some crispy fried chicken. And it's going to say no flour fried chicken because I do not use flour when I fry my chicken, y'all. And my chicken be so crispy, crunchy, and good. Family, y'all tell them. Y'all tell them, family, what that chicken be like. So, make sure you keep a stir on that roux. You do not want it to get away from you. I'm telling you. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn my pan down just a little bit more because this is a cast iron. That I'm cooking it in, and y'all know cast irons, they get a little hot. Hotter than a regular pan. Alright. So let me get my rice over here. And I'm just gonna wash me some rice, y'all. Whenever I'm cooking rice, I love to uh, 
I love the um that garlic powder or I mean onion powder. I cut up an onion. Um I cut up an onion or use onion powder. I don't have no onions, y'all. I'm out of onions. So I'm gonna put some onion powder. I'm gonna use some, a little bit of this broth here. This is some chicken broth. Let's use a little bit of that. I don't want too much water, but I'm still gonna add a little bit of chicken seasoning to it. I just wanted that flavor of broth up in the rice. And then I'm gonna add some chicken seasoning. And then I'm gonna add some black pepper. A little salt. And then I'm gonna add, hold up y'all. I'm gonna add some parsley. Now y'all know Miss Parsley come to all food family reunions, honey, okay? So we're gonna throw Miss Parsley right on up in there in that pot and give it a nice look if you want to add you some bell peppers to it you can make any kind of seasoned rice that you would like to make ain't nobody trying to tell you what to do i'm just trying to tell you you know what i'm saying do stuff a little different and and stop being like everybody else and experiment in your kitchen and and, and make your food taste good honey for your family and and flavorizing and stuff like that that's all i'm telling you to do okay All right, so I'm gonna get this up and let this water come up to a boil before I actually put my rice in there. That's how you have to do when you is using when you is um cooking white rice. You have to let that rice come up that water come up to a boil before you put that rice in there, y'all. So now you're noticing that this flower has went from a white looking color to almost like a, a, a tan looking color. And as you cook it, it gonna continue to brown and brown and brown and brown and brown and brown and brown. You can go all the way to a dark chocolate with root. It just depends on how dark you want it. I'm washing my rice off, y'all. Only thing I'm doing, I got it in my strainer. You could just put it in your bowl if, uh, if you don't have like a little, a little strainer to wash it around in and run the water over until it runs clear. But I'm washing my rice until it runs clear. And that's what you do. You, you, um, you know, you scrub the rice you, and, and you keep pouring the water off of it until it runs clear. That's how you do white rice, y'all, okay? So now Okay, y'all see that So I'm going to cook this I'm going to cook this till, till it gets softened And then we're going to move on to You know, browning up the meats and everything I'm going to remove them from the pan And then I'm going to brown up the meats and everything Right there in that same pot. Because we just gonna only thing we're gonna be doing by doing that is building up flavor. Child, I'm looking good on this camera, honey, with all these pots going, honey. Can't tell from nothing. Child, you build a tea. How y'all New Year's going? Put a ding on the dome and ring the doorbell. Y'all, I have a goal of 100, y'all. If y'all don't mind, 
tough for me to get that thumbs up button, that like button. The doorbell is what I call it, to 100. We'll have a special performance, and I will also appreciate it for y'all helping me uh, help, helping me get there. Okay, put a ding on a zone and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on a zone and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on a zone and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on a zone and ring the doorbell. Okay, my right and my water is boiling. So now, oh, I forgot to put some oil in there too, y'all. But I'm gonna add a little cooking oil to it because that's how I like to cook my rice. I like to put cooking oil in there instead of the butter. It just gives it a lighter, better taste when you use the cooking oil versus the butter. Okay, so I'm gonna take my pot and turn it down to medium. And I'm gonna add me some of uh, a little grease back there, baby. Right on in now with that rice. I'm gonna put that lid on there and let it go for what it know, honey. Cause we ain't got to sit here and babysit this here, him, him, rice. And it look like I got a perfect amount of water. Yeah, look like I got just the right amount of water. All right. All right. So now I got this here. Browned up and cooked up. So now what I'm about to do is transfer these over into my bowl real quick like and we're gonna get to cooking up this bacon. Right here in the same same pot. Trying to get as much of this uh, garlic up out of here. <coughs> so now I'm just going to take my bacon. And you can use hard jaw bacon, any kind of bacon that you want to use. It's up to you. Ain't nobody trying to tell you what to do. You do you, boo, honey. As long as it tastes good, that's all that matters, right? Okay. Y'all going to learn that over here. It don't matter if you make stuff different from somebody else. Okay, sometimes it's good to make stuff different. That means that you got your own little thing going. You got your recipe. You got what you like. You got what your family like. You done found something that you know how to do. You know what I'm saying? All right, so now we're going to take this bacon here. And we're just going to get this bacon fried up. Right there. In that pan. And this, and this, this pot is just going to keep building up. More and more flavor, y'all. Y'all try y'all black eyed peas like this. This be my first time. And so you, when y'all when y'all see this here, don't forget I said you can add kale to this, but I'm not worrying about that because I got some um I got some collard greens right here already on the side. So um Y'all, y'all try this recipe, and when you come and come back and let me know what y'all think about it, how y'all like it, and stuff like that. Okay, but you add as much as you want to add. I just got a lot going because this gonna be a lot of black eyed peas. I know they ain't gonna eat all them, but I had them soaked all them beans before they actually before we had our family discussion today, y'all. They was like, they was like, and grandma both, both of them. Tiana, don't cook all that stuff. Don't be cooking all that food that's going to last three, four, five, six, seven days. <laughs> that's okay. Okay, I'll be trying to cook small, y'all. It's hard. It's hard to cook small. When I learned to cook, I learned to cook for five. And I've been cooking ever since I was eight years old. So I don't know nothing but big cooking. You know? And I try to tell my husband that, but, you know, I'm going to try, y'all. I'm going to try to, to cook small. Because I do find, I was telling y'all, I do find where I don't want to eat leftover too many days. Well, I, I'm, I'm like this. My mom taught me how to, to feed the family. You know what I'm saying? She taught me how to feed the family, and that's all I know to do. I know to feed the family. And we ain't going hungry just to show us I can help it. And so, whenever I can have leftover and stuff like that, that's what I try to do. Because I got a grandma, she know to eat, she got to eat, and it's best that I cook food at home for her than her eating out all the time. And so, you know, she 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 even said, uh-uh, Tiana. 
I'll eat it one more time, but you know, I don't want to keep eating it like that either. And so, that's fine. That's fine, you know. And I ain't really got no room in my freezer to be freezing nothing, so I need to cut back on my on, on, on sizes and stuff. So, now while we waiting on that bacon, we're going to be a little bit more productive with our time. I'm going to take these sausages that I did not prep. <laughs> and so I'm going to get these here cut up. <clears throat> y'all don't forget, y'all go over there and show her channel some love. Y'all let her know that I sent y'all over there. I love her. I love for her to know where y'all coming from. You know what I'm saying? She don't know me, but I know her. Let her know y'all came from T on I Gonna Be Me. Alright, so now I'm just gonna take these sausages and I'm just gonna get these to cut up like this. This this knife just too little for me, y'all. This how I be wasting dishes and stuff. Like I told y'all, you gotta keep the third on that roof. You cannot let this roof get away from you. Because if you do, tell me. It's gonna be burnt, you're gonna hate it, and you're gonna have to start all over again. So I'm taking I'm gonna take these sausage and I'm gonna throw it right on over there in that pot with that bacon. Let these all come and get a little a little brownness to them. You know, you can you can take them and just throwing it up all this in the pot, you know, at one time. But you ain't gonna have as much flavor as I, as I'm gonna have like this. You know, you can cut the sausage up, put the beans, the bell peppers, the onions, the seasonings, all that in there together. But this is what you call love, adding love to your food, y'all. Okay, this is what you call love. When you take the extra steps to do stuff, you know, that you normally wouldn't do or somebody else didn't do. That's what you call adding love to your food. All right, so we got that cut up. All right, now, so now we about to just tan to, we about to tan to um, this roux and this bacon and these sausages. But while in doing so, <clears throat> we about to get our chicken seasoned up too, y'all. Alright, look. I think I'm gonna cut up the layers too, because that's gonna be a lot of peas. Alright, y'all see it's tiny colors now. It take a little while to do this, y'all, so don't turn your eye up on high because you wanna get it done faster. It takes about a good 45 minutes to get a roof. They have some color, a good color, a good deep color. But that's why I say, you know, sometimes people give you measurements and stuff like that, but you got to go for what you know it's supposed to look like because not all the time is going to be right. You know, I could tell you add this much seasoning, that much seasoning, but you might like to have a little bit more seasoning, a little less than seasoning, less seasoning 
than what I have put. You know what I'm saying? So you got to go for what you like. You might be cooking a little less than me. You might be cooking a little more than me. So you got to measure on how much you doing for your family. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing the same size. You know, you might have more chicken. I mean, more um, more beans or something. Nothing, nothing is gonna be the same. Something gonna be a little off. And then first thing you gonna say is, oh, that wasn't right, right there. I had to add this. I had to add, had to add that. Okay, of course, of course. That's all a part of cooking, cooking, because that's that. That is all part of cooking. You know. You gon' you gon' you gonna find that you ain't gonna like something exactly like uh another person um showed you or whatever. So I'ma just take these and I'm gonna finish cutting the rest of that on up in there because I wanna make sure I got enough sausages because grandma says she don't want no chicken and she talks about I eat the sausage out the beans. So yeah, I don't know how grandma is about chicken honey, but baby I'm about to fry, die, char. And let me a piece on to the side, honey. Okay. Put a ding on a dome and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on a dome and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on a dome and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on a dome and ring the doorbell. If you don't know what the doorbell is, the doorbell is the thumbs up, the like button. Please hit it one time for the one time. Hey, one time for the one time. Hey, one time for the for the for the for the for the one time. If you don't mind ringing the doorbell for your girl one more time. Hey, if you don't mind ringing the doorbell for your girl one more time, one more time. If you don't mind ringing the doorbell for your girl one more time. Okay. You better, you better, you better, eh, eh, uh, you better put that ding on her, uh, put that ding on, put a ding on a doorbell, hey, I put a ding on a doorbell, hey, put that ding on her, hey, put that ding on, put a ding on that doorbell, hey, put that ding on that doorbell, hey, 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 all right, y'all, so we finna season up this chicken. And going on to get this hill <clears throat> seasoned down and around and ready to go. So when we get ready to fry out, honey, them seasonings, whoo, they just going to be in there, in there, on there, and try just good. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do a basic seasoning to the chicken, y'all, because it be good. Hold on. I'm going to do a basic, little basic, little seasoning. And like I told y'all, I don't use flour because I use cornstarch. This cornstarch is going to make this chicken so crispy and good, y'all. You're going to be amazed at how this chicken tastes, okay? So I have already washed, cleaned, and prepped my chicken. It's ready to go. Still making sure I keep a good stir on this roux. Only thing we doing is stirring until we get the color that we want. This roux can go all the way to a dark chocolate, y'all. And that's not burnt if you get it done. Only way it's burnt is if you let it stick to that bottom of that pan and just start burning, just sitting there. But as it gets, it, that's just what it's gonna do. You know, you you can get rules dark like that without it be, being burnt or tasting burnt. Okay. So to season up this chicken, what you're going to need you is some salt and pepper. Some salt and pepper. You're going to need you some cornstarch. 
onion powder, hot sauce, garlic powder, and my favorite, mustard, okay? So, we're going to take this mustard, and we're just going to get some in here, all over this chicken. It do not matter if you use French's, Walmart brand. Actually, what this is, is really the Walmart bottle, which I done used all the mustard from there. You know what I'm saying? Putting it on chicken as well. But it's French's actually in this bottle, y'all. But it don't matter. Okay, I might need a little bit more, but I don't know. I got to see. All right, so then you're going to take your hot sauce. Any hot sauce of your choice, listen, stop worrying about what don't matter. Just get it on there, okay? I'm just showing you what to do. You take what I show you, and you use it for you and your household, okay? Whatever works for y'all. Get you some salt. Season up that chicken real good, like. You're going to get you some pepper. Get you some of this onion powder. Put it on there. You knocked me out first. You knocked me out. I got smoked out. You knocked me out. And throw you some garlic powder. And that's and that's a good basic seasoning right there. And I'm telling y'all, this chicken would be just as good as somebody that I'm been in there and throwed everything in the kitchen cabinet on. I'm trying to tell you now, okay? I'm just letting you know. So now we're just going to get these seasonings here mixed around real good like. On that chicken. I'm almost to like the peanut butter color. I'm gonna go just a little bit more darker on it, and then that's it. I'm making my roux by the same color she made hers. All right, so now I got that right there. All right, so I'm gonna finish mixing this chicken here around. Like so. Now I'm going to give it a little swipe to give it a little taste. Mm-hmm. Got no seasoning. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cornstarch. And you're not trying to, you know, coat it like you're trying to, you know, flour some chicken. What you want to do is just get you a little bit on your chicken. And you're going to get that mixed around. And basically what's going to happen is you're going to tell that you got something on that chicken because it's going to have like a little a little palish looking color. But it's gonna, what it's going to do is it's going to mix in with them seasonings. And when you fry it, it's going to have that chicken good and crunchy. Almost like a sticky like. And this is how I fry my chicken, y'all. So now we're just going to let this sit here. We're not going to put it in the refrigerator because room temperature, room temperature chicken fry the best. So we about to get on over here and get with 
the black eyed peas a little bit more further. All right. Hold up, y'all. Okay, so now it on turn a little darker. It's actually to this color that I was looking for. That peanut butter color. Y'all see that? A nice pretty color to that root, y'all. All right. So now we got that. So now the sausages and the bacon, it done cooked up. It got a little brown to it, just like we like it, because that is flavor, y'all, okay? That is flavor, 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 flavor. Flavor, 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 flavor. Okay, so my rice is done. I'm going to take that lid off of there for a second and just let that finish just, you know, steaming out and stuff. All right, so we're going to take the bell peppers and onions and garlic and all that stuff. Just imagine I had some onions. It's just bell peppers and garlic. Okay, so you're going to take that. You're going to put that on in there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your black eyed peas you're going to get them on in there. Like that. If you had kale, you would have had your kale cooking down with your sausage and bacon at the same time. You know, whipping it down some to get it ready. And all that would have went in at the same time. All right, so now you're going to take your... uh, Hold up. Oh shit, I thought I turned off the right pot. Okay. So imagine that kale in there. Y'all know it'll be a pretty green color, but like she say, you can use collard greens in it if you want to. All right, so now we just gonna take this here and dump it Ooh, right on in here. Get all that good for good for stuff. I don't want no fat of that. Right on them beans. Hold up. And then I got my broth. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take this here, honey. Oh, yeah, I'm going to just glaze that up out of the pan just as much as I could got out. Waste not or won't not. All right, so now you're going to take your broth, your water, your chicken broth, your, your whatever kind of broth that you got. You're going to add that right to these peas. Just like that. The turkey tails, I'm not going to add those yet because they're already tender. These black eyed peas, they got to cook, you know, for about a good 45 minutes or more. So now you got your bacon, your sausage, your bell peppers, your onion, your kale, if I had it in there, your kale, your roux. And now you're going to take your seasonings and you're going to dump your seasonings right on in there. And this is what you call gumbo black eyed peas, y'all. Y'all see that? So this going to be real good. You know it's going to be good. On top of, um, on top of that rice. All right, so we're going to let that cook on like a medium or so. For about 45 minutes until it's done 
And if you have to add you a little bit more water to it, then go then and then add you, I mean more liquid to it, then you can add broth. So we're gonna put that back there. And I'm gonna take my lid and put it on there, honey, and let it finish. Finish cooking. We done did all the prep work for it. That's gonna be good, y'all. Put that lid on there and let that cool. All right. So now, this is the rice, y'all. I'm just I'm leaving the lid off of it because. I added just the right amount of uh, liquid to it. Y'all know normally I will leave the lid on it because I add, I like to undercook my rice and I leave the lid on it on that eye and let it finish cooking. But this rice, it don't cook perfectly by itself. So I'm leaving the lid off of it so that the steam that's in the pot already don't continue to cook my rice even more with that lid on there. One thing I hate, y'all, is some dang gone mushy rice. I like every grain to itself when I make rice, y'all. Okay. I'm coming. Hold up. y'all so let me tell y'all something for those of you that's here don't go nowhere on on here we lie but a buffer but only thing i have to do is hit one button and i'll be back okay so y'all just stay here till i hit that button and oh but it's not on my end y'all it's just be youtube sometimes I ain't nothing we could do about it but hit that reconnect button and come on right back okay all right dang i could eat that part of sausage bacon by myself <laughs> Okay, y'all, so this what we so we made it we made it we made it to a hundred do do oh we made it do we made it do we made it to a hundred do do oh we made it do we made it do we made it to a hundred do do oh we made it do we made it do we made it to a hundred and nine doorbell range y'all <coughs> come give me a bigger pot that tall one just like this. Buffy, yeah, you know. Hold up. I had to switch pots, honey. I had to switch pots. Because that roof had them thick enough. So find you a nice tall pot. It probably would have been alright if I didn't have, uh, you know, as many beans. But I had a lot of beans in mine, y'all.
thumbs up. That's when it started doing it. Boy, I tell you, people ain't number haters. I swear. That don't make no damn sense to be such a fucking hater. That shit didn't start till I got up to 100. Now they want to get fucking started. That don't make no damn sense. Just don't, it don't even pay you to be a hater. <sighs> Y'all here? YouTube need to change that shit. Because that don't make no sense. Hey, Grandma. They can't hear you because the thing messing up. Uh, they can't hear you because it's messing up. Oh. Somebody being a hater. That's all it is. Somebody being a hater. Because this damn thing just going back to back, back to back, back to back. Yeah, he busy. I ain't doing nothing to mess with nobody and they want to go and do the some shit. Oh, yeah. What them dirty dishes right there? Yeah, you finna wash them? Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Okay. Y'all, I apologize. We hear her. Hey, Grandma. They say, hey, Grandma. Hey, there. And happy new year to y'all. They over here, Grandma. Huh? Over there. Happy new year to y'all. That don't make no sense. It really, it really don't. Okay. It's just ridiculous. What they got, what they said when they got to be right They said, same to you, Grandma. They said, hey. Hey, hey. Haters gonna hate, ignore them. I do ignore them, but damn, they over here messing up my video and stuff. Let's be you. They trying to keep you out of war. I don't know what they trying to do. But it didn't start until I got up to 100. Y'all saw that, right? Time I got to a hundred, that's when it started cutting up. Just hating. Why you? Why you? Why you want to be a hater all your life? Don't make no sense. Damn, grow from that. It ain't paying you nothing to be a damn hater. Shit, why you over here worrying about me instead of trying to shut my shit down? You need to be up there trying to do something with yourself. Go and make you a channel and see what that shit, see what that feel like when people come over and be and be trying and be shutting your shit down. Excuse me, y'all, but I'm just saying. Exactly. They ain't got nothing else better to do. I'm up, I'm up to about 200 people. They want to keep on till I get all the way down. Just hating. Just hating. I don't care. I, it's, that's not going that's not going to stop me from doing videos. You going to keep doing that and it's not going to stop me. It's not. I'm going to, regardless of how much y'all try to stop me from getting whatever you don't want me to be, it ain't nothing you could do when God going to bless me. He going to let me get there regardless if you continue to hate or not. So, ain't no need of you to continue hating because I'm going to get there regardless. Put 
ding on the dome and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on the dome and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on the dome and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on the dome and ring the doorbell. If you don't know what the doorbell is, the doorbell is a thumbs up the light button. Please hit it one time for the one time. Hey, one time for the one time. Hey, one time for the for the for the for the for the. One time, y'all know I ain't finna let that get me down. I'm, I was mad, but I ain't finna let that get me down. I, listen, I tell y'all too many times, don't let, look at them, look. Keep you mad all day. Hell yeah, I was, I was, honey, still about to have piss, but, um, <laughs> y'all, it, it's just a shame. Look at it, you see it? You see it? It's just a shame. It's so sad. So sad you that miserable. So sad. Girl. It ain't it ain't even half a piece of shit funny about it. This shit ain't easy, y'all. We get on here, we work hard for these channels. It is not easy. Get on here, entertain people. I apologize. Anybody coming over want to sponsor me? Y'all looking at me. I'm cussing. I'm getting all side of the line and all that stuff like that. But this is not my character. It ain't. But I know how to. I know how to get with them when I need to. This ain't my character. Anybody coming new? I apologize. My uh, my family. Y'all know how I am. Yep, 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 yep. This another new year and he gonna be the devil. We ain't gonna speak that, Grandma. Huh? We ain't speaking that. We speaking number positive. Oh, no. It's, I gonna, it's gonna be good. Yeah, he gonna end up good with you. But then what haters, he gonna be the devil. But then. You better tell him again. Yes, sir. Oh, you got too many people on your side. I don't think they mustn't don't have none on there. All right, y'all. So I'm finna mix up this cornbread, and we're gonna get that on um, in the oven. I'm gonna cook that cornbread in this uh cast iron skillet. They say that's right, Grandma. That's right. I ain't finna do nothing but some Jiffy today, y'all. I was gonna do fried cornbread, but I was like, no, I'm gonna just do some Jiffy. Y'all, once again, forgive me, but honey, you know, you just never know what's gonna come out when you get mad, you know? Let me make sure y'all charging over here. Pot dirty. Yeah, that's dirty too. Watch this one right here for me first because I'm making cornbread in that. This Make one. Cornbread in this one right here. Okay. Hey, y'all. It's your girl T. Anna. I can only be me. Hey, 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 y'all. Hey, 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 y'all. Happy, happy Friday. How you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? One more time. Hey, y'all. It's your girl. It's your sugar. It's your honey bun. It's the only one. I can only be me. It's a thumbs up, the like button. Please hit it one time for the one time. Hey, one time for the one time. Hey, one time for the, for the, for the, for the, for the one time. It's 
if you don't mind ringing the doorbell for your girl one more time. Hey, if you don't mind ringing the doorbell for your girl one more time, one more time. If you don't mind ringing the doorbell for your girl one more time. Okay. You better boo, you better, you better boo, eh, eh, you, you better boo, eh, put that ding on the, put that ding on, put a ding on the doorbell, eh, put that ding on the doorbell, eh, put that ding on the, eh, put that ding on the, put a ding on the doorbell, eh, put that ding on the doorbell, eh, 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 eh. Thank y'all for ringing that doorbell, I appreciate y'all. All right, so we finna, I think I want to add a little bit more liquid, y'all, to the black eyed peas because they kind of like sinking down to the bottom. And, and okay, they ain't, they ain't sticking that time. So I guess I'm going to have to stir them occasionally so that they don't stick down in the bottom. Yes, no, ma'am? Yeah, that's the one I want. Hold on, y'all. Okay, I'm going to Oh, okay. So we're gonna make the cornbread in this, y'all. I ain't never put cornbread in a skillet and baked it in the oven, y'all. So we're gonna do that today. Cause I'm curious to see how this cast iron cornbread gonna be, even though it's jiffy. But I'm still curious. So I'm gonna set my oven on 375. Okay, so I got me a box of jiffy. Hold on, I gotta get y'all back down here so y'all can see. Oh, they told you? Yeah, he told me. Oh. They told the call in the back when they changed it. And he got to pull it, so. Yeah, honey, he did find it in the frame, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're going to take this oil and we're going to spray our pan. You can grease it with butter if you want to, but I'm just using this right here. All right, so now I'm gonna take this box of Jiffy. One egg, some milk, and some sugar. I like to add sugar to my Jiffy, y'all. Just sugar to my cornbread, period. Sugar for the sugar booze. I'm gonna stick this in the oven, let it begin hot, y'all. What's that, man? Grandma? Sweet girl. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna get this here. Mixed up. Yeah, 
Y'all, let's get it on up to 200 if y'all don't mind. We need about 60 more. 60 more. Let's see if we can get it to 200, y'all. When you messed on oh, this on me. What? That ain't even no. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying to mash down those lumps that's in them. If y'all is new here, I want to tell y'all about my second channel. The name of my second channel is Boss Up Cleaning. B-O-S-S-U-P cleaning c-l-e-a-n-i-n-g that's the name of my second channel where i put all my cleaning and organization videos wash your clothes folding clothes wash your dishes clean the refrigerator the oven the stove anything that you can think of that got to do with cleaning honey that's what i do over there on that channel y'all okay everything that got to do with cleaning if you want the ones that like to watch videos like that if you know anybody that like to watch videos like that. Y'all tell them about my second channel, y'all. Let's go ahead and get that channel on up to uh, where it need to be at. Okay, honey, let's get that one the growing. All right. I appreciate y'all if y'all go over there and show that channel some love. Okay, so I think my, is my pan hot? Might not be, but it's going to be hot enough, hot enough today, child. Okay. Maybe I should let it get, I'm going to let it get real hot because I want the real experience. So I'm gonna let it get real hot. I'm gonna let it get real hot. Then I'm gonna put that bread in there. So now I, I'm not gonna really fry the chicken yet because I don't want for my chicken to um. But I got my greens right here, y'all. I only got a little bit, a little greens, some rice. That. And then I got some pea, some black eyed peas over here. It's a it's a black eyed pea, gum, black eyed peas gumbo. Hold on, let me check y'all real quick. Make sure I have to keep checking to make sure y'all be charging. Okay, so got my black eyed peas back there. It's a black eyed pea gumbo, and I'm just letting those simmer. You know, cook down on medium until those black eyed peas get done y'all okay and they might end up taking a little longer than what i expect because these black eyed peas i forgot to let them soak overnight but y'all those those is freaking good mm, chai honey that gravy juice is different from a little water okay that may stick to your finger mm. oh baby well, God dang. Can y'all believe them peas is already done? They is done. <laughs> Let me go and taste another one to make sure. Babe, you want to try the black eyed peas to see? <laughs> Babe, I just asked because that video we did. <laughs> okay, so. Let me taste another one to make sure they all the way done, y'all. But I want my peas like this. I don't want them to be mashed all up. Hmm. Oh, yeah, those. Oh. Wait till my family try those, y'all. They're going to be so amazed. I'm amazed. Those is good. Now, I'm going to take this turkey tail, and I'm going to break that off up in there like that. If you like okra, put you some okra in there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that is a good show. Look at Grandma. <laughs> Grandma said that'll be good show enough. You hear me? So you add whatever kind of meat that you want to add to yours. You might want to put an oxtail or something. Now, ain't no telling. It's a gumbo, y'all. You throw what you want in there. So now we're just going to mix that. Look at that. Look at here, y'all. Come on over here. Turn my grease on so we can start frying chicken, baby. 
Y'all look at that. And imagine if we had that kale in there, y'all. That kale will give you that. You have that that that, them, that kale off through there. Mmm, mmm. Look at them black eyed peas with that bacon. Ooh, that sausage, them bell peppers, that turkey. Look at them. That that roux that we made. Ooh, y'all. Look at that there. On top of that rice, y'all know this gonna be so busting. You already know. Straight up. Uh oh. All right. So I think we're whip whipper pull whip whipper whip pull. Her name is W H I P P O O R W H I L L Holler H O L L E R. The first set, the first word you put together is whipper. Whip or wheel, whip or wheel, whip or wheel, holla. I don't know why I don't know how to say the woman's name, but anyway, yeah. So that's the name of her channel, y'all. When y'all get over there, y'all let her know that what that y'all came from Tiana. I can only be me vlogs. I appreciate it. Let her know in the comments so she'll know that I don't try her recipe over here, honey, but done did a little spin to it, okay. And did my own little thing. And uh it turned out real good. And she told us about you. Okay. Alright. So now we're gonna let this grease come on up to a temp. And we're gonna get to frying this chicken. I'm finna check this pan and this oven because we're finna get ready to dump. I'm gonna show y'all how this chick child. Y'all wait till y'all see this chicken. Alright, so my cast iron is hot. And now I'm just going to take my bread and I'm just going to get it right on in this cast iron. And we're going to let this bake on 375 degrees on the, on the middle rack. Not the bottom and not the very top. You want it on the middle. All right, I'm gonna get that on in there. I'm gonna let that bake until it brown. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna let that stay right there because I need y'all to see how this chicken, honey. How this chicken is chicken. Hold on, y'all, I'll be right back. Y'all watch Grandma for a second. Grandma washing dishes. Go on, talk to him. Tell him something, Grandma. Tell him something good about this show. About this show. Yeah, tell him something good. I'll be right back, y'all. God been good to me all this year. That yes, was sir. last year. That was last year. He been good to me. And I know he been good to y'all. You just depend on the master and he will help you. I ain't so, I ain't, I ain't so hot about talking, y'all. Y'all understand that. Y'all, y'all, I, I mum along with y'all and tell Tiana to get back here because I'm not the one to be talking. Let me know how little for me. I do all that I can. How y'all, how New Year been handling y'all? I was asleep when 12 o'clock come to Tiana come in there and woke me up. So we were, I was woke when 
They knew you. You can't hardly sleep around right here when them folks shooting them fire. I know they enjoy New Year. And I was glad when 12 o'clock called. Huh? Well, I got tired of them fuckers. Sound like a goon. But, We still knocking. And thanking the master for seeing another new year. Yes, sir, he let us live to see another new year. Children is doing fine, I hope. Here is fine. All right, what you said, Grandma? Yeah. We made it to it. They said, Amen, Grandma. What you say? I just, I just told you that the good Lord let us in, let us be here to see it. Oh, yeah. Yes, he did. And it's a blessing. Yep. Especially with all that's going on mm -hmm. and stuff. And he allowed us to see another year. Oh, yeah. He 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 showed he showed his grace and mercy and and and, and shine he just shined on us. He said, you know what? I'm gonna let y'all go another round. I'm gonna let you go another round, however long. All right, so I'm gonna take my chicken and I'm gonna drop it. Y'all know the chicken is already seasoned and everything. Do not poke your chicken or none of that, y'all. I don't, I don't like, I don't like when you when, when you poke the chicken because when you do that, you be releasing all the uh one two three four five. You be releasing. Dang, I forgot. Grandma, is you gonna eat some chicken or no? I have to. I'm not gonna leave And the meat that's in the sausage that's in the beans, but if you if you want some, I need to know so I can make it for you. Well, I eat, I eat, I eat, you turkey, turkey wings. I ain't got no turkey wings. Turkey necks? I ain't got no turkey necks either. What? I got the little turkey tails I broke up in now, in the beans. If you don't want no chicken, you ain't got to eat none. Oh, uh, Okay, so, I'm going to fry. I ain't okay, so that right there, I'm going to save for tomorrow, honey. Okay. Y'all know I be down to eat a piece of chicken or two, okay? Honey? Mm -mm. Look, y'all already know I love chicken, child. I gotta get my chicken in for Monday, honey, so I ain't mad about it. I'm using this right here, y'all, to just move it around. Just move it around. Normally, I tell y'all don't touch it, but the grease was kind of hot. So I'm just gonna take this little piece right here, little pieces, and just roll them over, you know, like that. But don't touch your chicken time you put it in there. If you stood there and watched it, y'all know I don't walk down from, from the grease and everything. Okay. And just drop that chicken and let that skin start tightening up and that crunch start forming on that chicken before you actually touch it. Just let it sit there. You see how I'm doing? Just letting it sit there. Just let it sit there and let it fry. And it's going to be all right. Have your uh, grease down low enough so that, you know, you don't um, cook your chicken too fast on the outside and it'll be half done on the inside. How do you know how long to cook chicken? 
You gotta, you just gotta, some, listen y'all, you got to mess up and learn to trust your judgment. You know, 209 people in here. I thank you, y'all. I thank all of y'all for coming over here, showing my channel some love, y'all. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I have a second channel. The name of my second channel is Boss Up Cleaning. That's why I put all my cleaning videos and stuff like that. B-O-S-S-U-P Cleaning. I also have a membership if you'd like to join my membership, which is $4.99 a month. The link is in the description. And the only thing we're going to be doing on that membership, y'all, is having nothing but fun. Fun activities, stuff like that. Okay? So, I want to introduce myself to y'all. If you was new here, I want to say welcome. This thing ain't gonna let me introduce myself, y'all. for coming thank every last one of y'all for coming welcome to the family if you is new hey y'all it's your girl t Anna. i can only be me Don't poke your chicken, y'all. Always turn your chicken with some tongs or, or a slotted spoon or something like that. But don't poke it. Thank y'all for ringing the doorbell. I appreciate y'all coming. I appreciate each and every one of y'all new people. I thank y'all for trying to get to know me 
Okay. But I post videos every day, y'all. Y'all just come and y'all just show me some love if you don't mind. Okay. Let's get back to this chicken real quick. Thank you, Grandma. I don't know if y'all can see me or hear me. Thank y'all for subscribing to my second channel. I appreciate y'all. If you're coming in, you'll know what that is. It's Boss Up Cleaning. B-O-S-S-U-P Cleaning. People in the comment, my, my, my sugar bulls, they is posting that for y'all to see. Ma'am. Yeah, it don't came in. We about done on the chicken. The bread is in the oven. And we about ready to eat, y'all. Thank y'all. I appreciate all y'all. I'm trying to get this live up to 200 likes. Ring the doorbell is what I call it, y'all. So if you don't mind, please ring the doorbell for your girl one time for the one time. If you don't mind, okay? I will appreciate it. If you don't mind, ring in the doorbell for your girl one more time. Hey, if you don't mind, ring in the doorbell for your girl one more time, one more time. If you don't mind, ring in the your girl we almost there i need about 76 of y'all i mean about 26 of y'all to ring the doorbell so if you one of the ones that came in here you did not ring the doorbell then would you if you don't mind would you please ring the doorbell for your girl one time for the one time that mean hit the thumbs up the like button and i'm just frying this chicken I want to make sure that under skin and all of that is done. Put 
that thing on the old bell. Put that thing on the old bell. Put that thing on the old bell. Put that thing. Put that. Put that. Put that thing. Hey, hey. Put that thing. Hey, hey. Put that thing on the dog. Anybody new here? Y'all, let me know who you is. So I can welcome y'all to the family. Who's here new? Who's here new so I can welcome you to the family, y'all? I apologize that y'all got to experience all of this buffering. Looking good, queen. I like that salute. Thank you, Dave. Welcome to the family. Thank you, Miss Marsha. Thank y'all for telling them to subscribe, y'all. I appreciate that. We almost done. We almost done. 20 more, y'all. 20 more, y'all. Who knew? What's up, T? Barbie and welcome to the family. Y'all welcome Barbie to the family. Thank you uh everybody Kennedy vlogs. Welcome to the family. We happy to have you. Y'all welcome Kennedy to the family. Thank you T Johnson. Get y'all down here real quick. Like look at that bread y'all. We're going to get this chicken out. Everything is ready. We're about to get ready to plate this on up, honey. Look at that fried chicken, y'all. Fried chicken with no flour on it. Look at that. And I'm just letting it dry. Can y'all hear me? Okay, 
I put the butter on top of the cornbread and I'm gonna take some honey and I'm gonna put a little honey. All right, y'all. So now I'm just going to cut. Can you see me, babe? Can y'all see me? Yeah, I can see Yeah. Okay, look at that bread, y'all. It's buffering. Look at that bread. at Babe, can you see me? Bring me your phone so I can see what I can see. What you can see. What they can... I'm going to take some of these black eyed peas, gumbo black eyed peas. Like that. And put it on top of that rice. Just like that. That's that. Then I'm gonna take Grandma Grandma Come on, eat your food at the table. My husband, he don't eat collard greens, y'all. He didn't want no green beans. He said he ain't gonna be doing that. That tradition stuff. Alright, so then the fried chicken and that.
look at that. And I'm going to put his cornbread on the side because he don't like his cornbread. Yeah, look at that. All right. There you go. Go and get it. He don't eat the greens and stuff. But he won't. Babe, you want your plate? No, ma'am. I'm going to eat. Yep. All right, y'all, so this is my plate. Okay, so here go the gumbo black eyed peas with rice, fried chicken, collard greens, and cornbread. I want to thank y'all for being here. I enjoyed y'all. I would get mouth distance, but I know they ain't finna let that happen, y'all. Just if you try my recipe, let me know. I want to thank y'all for trying to get me to that 196. I, I mean, to that 200. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Peace, love, and many, many blessings to each and every one of you guys. And y'all have a great day on the rest of your day today, y'all. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this food that we're about to receive. And I ask that there be minimum blessings stored upon us. And God, I ask that there's anyone in need of a meal. I ask that you bless them with one. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.